Well, hello everybody. Today, I'm gonna be showing you this 2015 Kia Cadenza. You know, if you've never thought about maybe shopping for one of these, or maybe you've never even just seen one, well, today's your opportunity. So I'm gonna kind of go through it, let you see the exterior, the interior, talk about some of the features that it has, and also tell you the price. So stay with us here today on Charleston Car Videos. All right, so this is a Kia Cadenza. It is a long wheelbase vehicle by Kia. That's right. And basically, my best way to describe the size of it is possibly I was thinking Audi A8 or BMW 750, which probably is close. But yeah, I guess that's about right. It's, it's among the lines of those larger, longer wheelbase vehicles. Now, we're not talking about a BMW 750Li for L being long or the A8L, but definitely the size of those vehicles without the L. Anyways, it's a good size. That's all I can get at there for you. And it's actually gonna be a pretty attractive vehicle when it comes down to some of the options you get, the price, and all that stuff. But the main thing is you gotta kinda like the look of it, right? So that's really the main thing. So take a look at it and see what you think. Kia has definitely made a lot of strides over the years to bring their uh, current lineup, you know, taking it up a whole nother level. I remember many, many, many years ago, Kias and Hyundais weren't very, they weren't the most popular of vehicles here in the United States. And, uh, and a lot of folks, you know, um, were not buying them as much. They thought that they were basically cheap vehicles and then vehicles that possibly would break down on you once they got around 100,000 miles. And then some of us may remember that Kia and Hyundai, what did they do? They said, oh, buy a new Kia, get a 100,000 mile warranty. So that I think was some of the turning point there for the Kia and Hyundai brand when Americans really started diving in and buying more when it had that 100,000 mile warranty. And believe it or not, they actually have done a pretty good job and their cars seem to be more reliable. And a lot of people buy them. I mean, Kia Optimas are all over the roads, Hyundai Sonatas, I think you get what I'm saying. But anyways, now I don't see as many cadenzas on the highways because really at the end of the day, it's still a pretty expensive car. But all these years later, again, a 2016 model with 90,000 miles is selling right now in December, 2021 for around 16.9. So price wise, 17 grand, not bad for everything you get in a larger flagship sedan, right? Kia also has another one called the K900, which I think is the next level up from a Condenza. That might be the one that really rivals out there with the, uh, the 740s and the 750s and things like that. But anyways, um, interior wise, pretty clean on this particular car. Again, this is a pre-owned vehicle that I'm selling. So really my main goal of making these reviews for you is to let you see the actual condition. And as you can see, the leather seats are in good shape. No rips, no tears. Um, you got the pano sunroof up there or the double sunroof, as you can see. Up top, it looks like you got just one big glass roof, which pretty much is what you're getting. And uh, they kind of separate it though with the gap there in the middle, which is just fine. It looks good and it still really opens up the interior. And uh, it's definitely got a lot of room on the inside. I mean, it's a big car. Good looking dash. I mean, not bad, right? Pretty solid. Grab my bottle of water here. And if I'm, if I'm correct, I think it's a V6 under the hood. Let's have a look. It does have a smart key as well. But yeah, let's see what we got here. Looks like a V6. Pretty clean under here, the GDI.
There you go. All right. This one's in really nice shape though. Black looks great on it with the tan. Good looking wheels, tires seem to still have a good amount of tread. Let's go ahead and hop in and back her up. I mean, it's got a few little things like right here, just a little rip there with the interior on the leather, but that'll be getting fixed here in the next few days. Um, you do have all your power seats. Again, around 90,000 miles. Steering wheel feels good. It's got the wood trim up top. Um, just like most cars, you know, you got your paddle shifters, all your little buttons and controls. They're giving you a little clock here. Nice big display screen. Also heated steering wheel, plus cooled seats and heated seats. And you got the shade in the back for the back window. Cup holders, there you go. And then you got a little more storage in there with an auxiliary USB and a 12 volt. Start stop engine button. And there's your backup camera. Looks pretty good, not bad. Kind of a tight spot back here by the church. So it's nice to have the backup camera. And um, seats are somewhat comfortable. So anyways, we uh, I don't think we've had a Kia Cadenza at our dealership before, so this may be the first one. But I don't think it will sit very long at our store. It'll probably sell kind of quick. All right. Power steering is nice. I mean, it's easy to move the steering wheel, you know. Probably has electric steering, I would assume. When you hit the gas pedal down, it seems to have some pickup. Not a bad car. What do you think? That's the main goal of the video, folks, here. I said it was showing you the condition of the car, of course, but what do you actually think about the Kia Cadenza? Is this one you would pick? Let me know in the comments section. Have you driven one before? Do you own one now? If you do, let us know what your thoughts and opinions are of the Kia Cadenza. All right. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, here's Southern Motor Company. We always keep some really nice vehicles on ground. Any given day of the week, we're going to have something that probably will work for you, whether it's a convertible, a luxury car, whatever it is. You know, a good uh, good comparison here. We may do a comparison review um, in the next day or so. How? What do y'all think? Should we do one? The Kia Cadenza versus 750. That's a 2012 model, so a little bit older, but size-wise, I don't know. I think that's a 750L, so it's a little bit longer than this. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. The sun's out. Let's get this beautiful December day going.